Today I'm going to show you what we're making to put a complete meal together for the holiday season. And this is going to be the salad. It's called Winter Green Salad. It's been a favorite of ours for years. I've served this at weddings. I've served this at big group, group gatherings where we're having a very nice Christmas dinner. And it's beautiful to, as well because of the red and green colors and the different uh, fruits and vegetables that are on it too. So let me show you what's going to go in this salad and how simple it is. And the dressing, people say, what is this dressing? It's so divine. And once you see how easy the dressing is, you'll think, why? Why wouldn't I not make this? It's very simple. Okay, so let's, let's look at what we're going to be putting in our salad. You're going to want to have um, mixed um, spring mix at, along with romaine lettuce that's been chopped and dried. So you want to make sure you have a, a good drying machine, a drying uh, lettuce dryer spinner uh, so to get make sure that the lettuce is dry so it doesn't uh, retain any moisture. Okay, and so what we we're going to be putting on our salad is we're going to have some crannies, some uh, kiwi, some celery, some grapes, and some raspberries. And to top that off, we're also going to uh, put on, make some um, sugared walnuts. Now you can use pecans if you want to, whatever your favorite nut is. So we're going to be showing you how to make that as well. That's going to go on top. And right now I'm going to show you how to make the dressing and then I'll show you how the salad looks when we put it all together. Okay, so the dressing is very simple and I've, I've doubled the recipe and you're always going to have to double this recipe because you're going to want more dressing than it's telling you you need. Everybody wants more dressing. So I've put a half a cup of my favorite oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, olive oil. I wouldn't use olive oil because it's a little bit heavier for this um, dressing, so I'd use a vegetable oil. And the other ingredients are, you're going to put, I'm doubling this recipe now, so I'm going to be putting in, I know this seems like a lot, but four tablespoons of sugar in with a half a cup. And then what's going to balance that off with the sweet and sour is the one whole teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. And the other really special thing that you're going to put in here, which is really, really good, is that if you can find it, is raspberry vinegar from Kozlowski Farms. I also bought this vinegar. It's a gourmet uh, raspberry balsamic vinegar, and there's only a teeny bit left, and I'm going to put it in the salad. So we're going to have two tablespoons of vinegar. If you don't have a raspberry vinegar, you can use a combination of some kind of balsamic. But the other most requested thing I would do is use a white wine vinegar. It's a great vinegar for salads. It just gives a really tart, smooth taste to it. it it's delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and put, finish up my balsamic raspberry and put that in here too. So I'm going to get, a, hopefully there'll be about a tablespoon of that, not quite. Not quite. I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. And then I'm going to put in my other raspberry vinegar. Another tablespoon, just a little bit more to make up for the other two tablespoons of vinegar. And then I'm just going to take my crusty little thing, wire whisk. And you want to beat this really, really well. And just before you serve it, you're going to want to serve this at the last minute. I never um, put, I never make this salad in a big bowl and throw everything in it and stir it up because the, the ingredients tend to sink to the bottom. So the people who are last are going to have, you know, all the goodies at the bottom. So I always plate this salad. I try to make this in a way so that it can be put in front of everybody's plate uh, before they eat their dinner. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is make sugared pecans and it's such a simple thing to do. I'm going to turn my heat on to about medium and depending on how many nuts you've got in here I'm just putting about a tablespoon because sometimes I will use more than that but you want to put some sugar in here and this is going to be caramelizing. The sugar is going to heat and caramelize maybe about a tablespoon and a half. And this is going to take a little bit of time because you don't want to burn these walnuts. So I'm going to wait for it to heat up a little bit and show you what it looks like a little bit when it's all ready to plate. Okay, it's been about one to two minutes for the sugar to melt and you can see the golden color here. So it's uh, basically caramelized. These pecans, I wanted to make sure that they were going to be toasted. So 
So this is just another way you can toast, uh, not pecans, these are walnuts, excuse me, walnuts. We're not doing pecans tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on here to cool a little bit. And they, sometimes they can be kind of clumpy with the sugar that's attached to it, but just let these finish uh, cooling. And then, okay, let's go over here and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do to plate this. I'm using a bigger plate just to show you how it can look, but a salad plate would probably be about this size. So you could, you know, guess how much you, how many people you can feed. But I just go ahead and take the uh, a big lot of lettuce right here, and then I just start throwing a few things on the top: the celery, a few grapes, a few crannies, and then a few kiwi around the sides. Um, raspberries on top. Raspberries are the main colorful thing. So you can see it's all, all red and green. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and drizzle some of our dressing. You want to make sure before you put it on that you mix it. You can see it's kind of thickened up a little bit too because of the sugar. And you're going to drizzle this on top. And then you're going to add your toasted walnuts on top of that. You can put these on the side if people don't like nuts in a little bowl on the plate. But this is a great way to serve that, an entree salad. It's simple. It's easy to put together. And people absolutely love this recipe. I've had so many people ask me, go, that's all it is? And I go, yep. It's easy, fun, and memorable.